In this lesson, we're looking at the surface and lateral area of cylinders and cones. So let's get started. So now what is the difference between a cylinder and a cone? Well, a cylinder is a prism with circular bases. So we have two circular bases. So think about a canned good is a cylinder. A cone is a pyramid with a circular base. So it only has one base. So think about an ice cream cone. And if you think about it, uh, a cylinder is a prism. Um, if you've watched a video on uh, surface area of prisms and uh, pyramids, a prism has two bases, whereas a pyramid only has one base. And so that is why a cylinder is a prism and a cone is a pyramid. For our first example here, we have a cylinder. So think about a can, good. And the lateral area is two pi r times h. And if you notice, the lateral area is a portion of the surface area, as always. Um, when you think about the lateral area, it is, um, if you think about a can good, it's the label around the can good. So the lat lateral area of any um, prism is basically the area that does not include the basis of the prism. So the label around uh, this cylinder here. So when I do the, I'm just going to do the surface area. And because I know that that is, the lateral area is within the surface area. All right. So um, R is my radius. 26 is the height. And I'm just going to plug it in. Uh, 2 times pi and the radius is 11 so 11 squared plus 2 times pi the radius is 11 and the height is 26 so just simplifying that a little more um, 11 squared is 121 and 121 times 2 is 242 pi so remember exponents first now I'm multiplying 2 times 11 times 26 that gives me 500 and 72 pi. So now this is your lateral area right here. That is in terms of pi. And if you wanted it as a decimal, of course, you would just multiply 572 times pi to get the lateral area. But just continuing with the surface area, I'm going to combine these because they are like terms. So 242 plus 572 is 814 pi. So if you wanted the answer in terms of pi, this would be your surface area, but if you multiply pi through, so 8.14 times pi is 2,557.26 yards squared. So that is the surface area of this cylinder, and this would be the lateral area right here. Problem number two, I would like for you to try on your own. Find the surface area, and you know within the surface area, you're going to have to find that lateral area. So go ahead and pause the video and try this problem on your own. All right, so the surface area was 777.54 meters, should be squared here. And then this would be your lateral area, 135 pi. So hopefully you got it correct. If not, pause the video and analyze the work here just a little more. Now we have a cone. And again, we want to find the surface area because within the surface area, I'm going to find the lateral area anyway. And the lateral area is pi times r times l. L is the slant height. If you look at this figure here, it is the slant height. So it is not straight, so it is slanted. So my slant height here is 27.3. But now I'm looking and I don't have my radius. But notice I could find my radius. This is perpendicular, or this is a right angle here. So I could actually draw a line here to make a right triangle. And think about it. Well, I'm actually going to draw a line over here. So let me erase that so you can see it a little better. I'm actually going to draw the line here. And I'm creating a right triangle. So now remember, whenever you have a right triangle and you want to find um, one of the sides and you're given two sides, what can we always use? We could always use that Pythagorean theorem. It keeps coming back. <laughs> All right. So 
AMBR your legs and C is the hypotenuse. Remember, the hypotenuse is opposite your right angle. Um, in this case, um, it is the slant height. All right, so plugging it in, my one of my legs is 25.2, and I'm looking for my radius. Okay, so I don't know that, which is what I'm trying to find. So B squared equals my hypotenuse is 27.3. Just simplifying this a little more. Uh, 25.2 squared is 635.04 plus B squared. 27.3 squared is 70, not 70, 745.29. Subtracting. Trying to get the B by itself which is my radius. So B squared is equal to subtracting these two. So that is 110.25. Last step here, I want to take the square root. So I just did the Pythagorean theorem, nothing new. That is 10.5. So, and if you're not familiar with the Pythagorean theorem, please see my video, the Pythagorean theorem and its converse. All right. And so one of my legs is B, which is really my radius, right? So my radius is equal to 10.5. Now I can plug it in. Surface area is equal to pi times radius squared. That is 10.5 squared plus pi times radius again is 10.5. And my slant height is 27.3. So, simplifying a little more, uh, 10.5 squared is 110.25, going to bring down that pi, 10.5 times 27.3, that is 286.65 pi, and this, of course, would be my lateral area if I we're looking just for the lateral area there. And of course, you could multiply pi through if you wanted it as a decimal. So this is a pi here. All right, so combining my like terms, they're like terms because they both have pi. That is, so 110.25 plus 286.65, 396.9 pi. And if I wanted my answer in terms of pi, I could leave it this way. But if I want it as a decimal, I just multiply pi through. That is approximately 1,246.9 inches for the surface area. All right. So, of course, you know the next problem. I'm going to have you try it on your own. So we have a cone here. I would like for you to find the surface area of this cone. So go ahead and pause the video and try this problem on your own. So you should have gotten 1,967.89 uh, millimeters squared. The lateral area would be here. Hopefully you got it correct. If not, pause the video and analyze my work here just a little more. So for example, number five, we have a short word problem here. It says the can of peas below has a surface area of 180.64 inches squared. So that is a surface area. And it says if the diameter of the can is five inches, find the height of the can. So the diameter is five inches. And we want to find the height of the can. So we can still use the surface area formula. But in this case, we'll be solving for H. So the surface area, it tells us is 180.64 is equal to 2 pi, the radius. So if the diameter is 5 inches, the radius is half of that. So the radius would have to be 2.5. So that would be 2.5 squared plus 2 times pi. Again, radius is 2.5. And then H, which is what we're looking for, we just leave it there. So now I'm just going to simplify a little more to solve for H. Uh, 2.5 squared 
times 2 is 12.5 pi. So 2.5 squared uh -oh. gives me 6.25, and then I multiply that by 2, which is how I got 12.5. Uh, plus, I'm just going to multiply 2 times 2.5. That is 5 pi h. All right. So now I'm going to um, subtract this 12.5 pi from both sides. Because I can't combine these because I have an H here, so they're not like terms. So when I subtract the two, 180.64 um, minus 12.5 pi, we get 141.37. And in your calculator, you may have to get 12.5 um, times pi first, and then subtract it from 180.64 if your calculator does not do um, order of operations um, but so you may have to do that first all right but now on my right hand side I'm going to bring down the 5 pi h since I'm solving for h everything is being multiplied I'm going to divide both sides by 5 pi so I'm using actually algebra skills of solving equations to solve for h so this cancels out I'm left with h which is what I want so 141.37 divided by 5 pi, and you may want to get the 5 pi first if your calculator does not do um, order of operations. Um, so you put in your calculator 141 divided by 5 times pi, and you will get 9 centimeters. Um, and again, you may have to multiply 5 times pi first. And that is approximately 15.7. Um, but either way, you get the same answer. So I would like for you to try this problem on your own. Go ahead and pause the video and try this word problem on your own. So you should have gotten four inches for your height. I did go ahead and multiply pi through in my second or well, my third step here. I got 14.14 so um, either way you're going to get the same answer whether you multiply pi through in the beginning of the, of the problem or towards the end hopefully you got it correct if not just pause the video and analyze my work here a little more we've reached the end of our lesson I want to thank you for learning with me some related videos are surface and lateral area of prisms and pyramids as well as volume of prisms, cylinders, pyramids, and cones. Um, if you haven't already, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And once again, I want to thank you for learning with me.